Hello you guys, welcome to another good old-fashioned makeup tutorial. I recently posted a poll on my Instagram stories asking you guys what videos you wanted to see from me on my channel and I got a lot of requests to do more makeup tutorials, specifically easy makeup or everyday makeup. So I actually wanted to show you guys the routine that I have been doing non-stop. This has been my go-to look this summer. Every time I'm filming, anytime I have a Zoom call, and I'm completely obsessed. So I'm going to be showing you guys a routine. Before we jump into things, if you guys are new to my channel, I would absolutely love it if you would consider subscribing and turning on the post notifications bell down below so you guys are notified every single time that I upload. And if you want to follow along with me on social media, it's at Emma Capotis on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, and at Hey There Emma on Snapchat. So we're going to go transform this face. I'm going to show you guys quickly the before and after next to each other. Allie Glines does that on her channel and I really like seeing the transformation so I figured I would try this out. Let me know what you guys think of it down below in the comments. And without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. All right guys, I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit for the eyeshadow look because I'm gonna be starting with that today. So you guys are gonna need four colors for this. A bone color, a light tan, a burnt orange or sort of like a rusty kind of color and then a dark chocolatey brown. That is it. Use whatever eyeshadow palette you guys have that has the colors. I have been rotating between Modern Renaissance from Anastasia Beverly Hills and Tati Beauty. I know this isn't available so honestly whatever palette you have that has those colors. So first I'm gonna use an eyeshadow primer and I'm just gonna Blend that in. I'm not flipping you off, I promise. And then I like to set that with a powder. So today we're gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder on my face, so I'm just gonna use that. And I just set it so, again, we have a nice, smooth, clean base to work off of. You can see this has been loved to death. I rotate between these two, but I'm gonna go with this color today. And we're really just coming out in the outer corner of my eye and into my crease. This is kind of going everywhere because this is a transition color. This is, does not have to be perfect, honestly. You can kind of just throw this on there and build it up. Then I take a more densely packed crease brush, so something like this. This is the Morphe E17, and now I'm going to be going into that like burnt orange rust color. So this one. And I'm really going to pack that on the outer corner. And then I'm gonna bring that lower in my crease. I'm watching Love Island UK in the background. <laughs> I'm like completely obsessed. Has anybody else watched it? I was so late to the game. I just got bored during quarantine. I'm going back in with the first color and just blending that out on the edge. And I watched um, season six. 10 out of 10 recommend. I'm completely obsessed with like the whole cast that season. And then I went back and watched season two because my friend recommended it. And now I'm on season three of the UK version. I find myself talking in British accents now because I'm completely obsessed with how they sound. So we've got that. Now we're gonna go in with the chocolatey brown color, which in this palette is Cypress Umber. And we are literally just gonna pack that on the outer corner at the very edge. And again, very, very light. I'm sort of tapping it in there, just at the edge, and then I bring it along my lash line, almost like in the shape of a V, kind of. I'm gonna take a tiny bit more and focus that more along the lash line now. And now I'm gonna go back in with this brush. I'm gonna add a tiny bit more of Railgar and just tap over that and blend into the crease. So it's all nice and blended together. All right, now is the fun part. This is a matte eye, like who am I? But I just, I think a matte eye just looks so nice and this whole look is gonna make you look very awake and natural. It's really focusing on enhancing your natural beauty. That's sort of like what I've been going for. But in this palette, it's tempura. So whatever shade you have, that's like a bone color. So you need sort of like a flat brush for all over the lid. And so I'm gonna just pack that on in the inner corner and then See how like nice and crisp that looks? Pack, 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 and then I bring that about halfway across the lid, like that. So now what I do, I go back in with my packed crease brush from the second color Railgar, that like burnt orange, and I'm just gonna go over where the bone color and the dark brown color are kind of meeting. I'm just gonna go over the edge of that and sort of join them together. So it's sort of like a gradient from bone to the burnt orange to the chocolatey brown. So I'm gonna pack over that and then I'm just gonna come over it in the crease a little. 
kind of going over the bone color and bringing it in towards the inner corner. And then I'm gonna go back in with the chocolatey brown one more time. And again, just tap that in the very outer edge of the outer corner and against the lash line, just to deepen it up. Cool, I'm also gonna take that and put it right under my brow bone. So now you're gonna highlight your brow bone. Cool, so that's it. Then you are gonna take a brown eyeliner. You can use black if you want. I, again, think brown is a little bit softer and less harsh than a black eyeliner. So this one's from Estee Lauder Double Wear in the color coffee. And I just line on the top lash line from about halfway across my lid to the outer corner. So for primer, I kind of am just trying out a bunch of different primers. It doesn't really matter. I've low-key been testing out this skin routine you're gonna see for bridal makeup eventually because I think I do want to do my makeup on my wedding day. So a lot of the things I'm using today, this is like a bridal trial as well. But all that being said, I'm gonna use a different primer. So this is the Pure 4-in-1 Correcting Primer. It energizes and rescues and it has aloe and coconut water. This is just such a nice consistency. It reminds me of like a moisturizer. Oh, it smells like coconut. I love it. All right, you guys, we are back on the Too Faced Born This Way game. This is one of the best foundations of all time. I love this foundation. I was waiting to use it because I got a little bit of color right now. So I'm in the shade Nude. So I use about a pump and a half of this, probably like that. So we're just gonna pounce this in. I would say this has medium coverage and it's buildable as well. You could use a brush too. Bring it down to your neck, neck. <laughs> Told me that I'm not the one. <laughs> I hate myself. And then I'm gonna do just a tiny, tiny little pump for a little bit more coverage. And I usually just put that where I'm breaking out, so like around my chin and then on my cheeks where I have dark spots. Okay, and then the contour stick I've been using a lot lately, I still absolutely love my bronzing heat wave from Flower Beauty, but to mix it up, I've been trying the Makeup Revolution stick again. This is foundation, it's F13. This is very warm on me, but um, when I blend it out, it's been making me look so tan. So I've been really into that. I start like right in between my eyebrows and I drag it down and I'm making sure that my fingers come in nice and tight so it's kind of like slimming the top of my nose and then I put a little at the bottom sorry I'm like literally flipping you off this entire video but I like using my middle finger for some reason and then my favorite brush right now this honestly is one of the best elf selfie ready foundation brush this is my cream contour brush so we're just gonna buff that in everywhere pretty much And with the cream contour, my trick is to blend up. You do not want to bring this down. We want to lift our cheekbones. So I'm just sort of like stippling this in and up. Okay, and this is like the key product here, you guys. The Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I'm also in nude. This combo of the foundation and concealer, like obviously they are meant to go together. And this is my favorite concealer of all time. So full coverage. I will definitely be using this concealer on my wedding day. It's like tried and true to me. I've tested it so many times. It's a nice like big doe foot applicator and it just blends so freaking good. And they have a really good skin tone line. So you should be able to find your shade in this as well. And I'm just tapping that in on my chin. And again, I take whatever is left over and I will clean up underneath the cream contour. I personally look up so that I can come right up under my lash line and you really want to push this in in all directions so that you get into uh, the crease there. And we're gonna bring that up under the little eyeshadow line. Under eye who? She's gone. We don't know her. And then sometimes like the concealer will come up a little too far so I will take whatever is left on this cream contour brush and I will literally just clean that up so that it sort of like blends together pretty well. And the concealer didn't like take away any of that contour. All right, like I mentioned, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in Fair Light. 
to set my face. So I will take whatever is in the cap first. I've been trying to go easy with the powder. You don't need that much unless you're on the oily side. And I've been loving this brush, the e.l.f. blush brush. I've been using this as my powder brush. So I'm going to dip in here, tap off the excess. And first I just press that in because I crease pretty bad on my forehead. So we're just gonna set right in the center. And then I'm gonna do my chin because I'm breaking out and my smile lines because this is where I crease the absolute most. I'm actually gonna press that in to make sure there's no creasing right now. And whatever's left over, I will just kind of like bring that and dust it everywhere else. And then I take a smaller powder brush. You can use your beauty blender as well, but I've been using brushes more often. Uh, this is another e.l.f. blush brush. They're different though somehow. It's got like, it's kind of tapered at the top, so it's got a little bit of a point. And again, dipping in here. This time I use a tiny bit more powder, so I kind of cover it. Look up and I will put that right under to set my concealer. And then I bring that down the side of my nose. But this is one of like the best powders and it's from the drugstore, it's amazing. I just fucked that up so bad. I just got powder everywhere. That was so dumb. This is why I work with a towel on my lap because I'm wearing all black today. All right, and I'm just gonna press that powder in under my eye so it doesn't feel too drying. All right, next up is bronzer. Use whatever bronzer you guys like. I've been really into the Fenty Beauty bronzer. Um, this is in Private Island. And I'll just use a big fluffy brush. This is a Morphe brush. And I kind of just go to town with bronzer. I'm not gonna lie. And I start by putting it on my forehead, over my temple. I have a smaller forehead, so I don't put too, too much up here, but if you guys have a bigger forehead, just, just contour that ish. And I'm just stamping it over everywhere I put the cream contour. And I drag it down my neck, so it's really, really defines your jawline. Then for my nose, I've been using this brush a lot. It's an, it's an e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush. It's a really nice, small, um, packed brush, and I feel like it's pretty precise. So I will take this, and again, I start right up here by my brow at the top of my nose, and I just come down in a straight line and connect it to my brow. And I just feel like this gives me such a precise line. And we are just making a nice tiny little nose. I honestly feel like this is why I would do my makeup on my wedding day, because I'm so specific about my nose contour. And just in general, I feel like I don't know. Is anyone else like this? Did you do your makeup for your wedding day? Part of me, I'm definitely going to do a trial just to see how somebody else does it. But in all the times, I think I've gotten my makeup done four times professionally. They come out good, but it's never, I never feel like me and I always end up changing something afterwards. So I understand it would be way less stressful to have somebody else do it. But I just know my face. I know what products work for me. And I've tested things over and over again. So like, how can you do one trial on me and know that it's gonna last? I guess like it's because you do it all the time so you know what products are good, but everybody's skin is different. So I don't know, we're gonna see. I'm probably gonna end up doing my own makeup and getting a makeup artist for my bridesmaids and my mom, but we shall see. I'm just taking the brush I used to put the powder under my eyes and I'm just buffing that all in. Okay, so for blush, I've been super into the e.l.f. Um, primer infused blush. Oh, this doesn't say the color on it. I forget what color this is. I think it was always rosy, maybe. Is that the name of it? I'll link it down below. But it is such a big pan. e.l.f., you can't beat the price. This lasts forever. Like that Sandlot thing. Forever. That's what this is. And I've tested this as well. And it's a really pretty color. I just love it. I think it looks so natural. So I usually put it on the high point of my cheek, starting in the outside and going up. I go ham with blush too. And then I bring it in onto the apple of my cheek. But blush to me is what ties this whole look together. Like it's what makes you look alive. And then I do take a tiny bit on the very end of my nose. I just kind of go like that. That's kind of like your hint at your e-girl, a little bit of modern makeup. But to me, it just looks sun-kissed and it looks so youthful. Like I feel like you look like a little cherub. I think it's so freaking cute. Okay, now I would set my makeup and I have been back into the Smashbox Primer Water. This again, like I've used this for years. I just ran out of my old bottle. Um, it's the most beautiful fine mist and you can use this as a priming spray, setting spray, whatever, but it just makes your makeup look flawless and it will make it last a really long time. So at this point, I'm gonna spray my whole face with this. 
And then I'm gonna wipe off my hair because I put so much makeup in my hairline. And while it's wet, it'll all come off. Okay, and then highlighter. Again, use whatever highlighter you guys like. I'm a little bit more tan and olive, so I like things that are more like champagne on the warm side, a little bit more golden. So the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter, I mean, this just, I don't think I've hit pan on any other highlighters. It's just that good. And this is in the shade Precious Petals, hello. And then my favorite highlighting brush is the Morphe M510. It's incredible, so I'm just gonna go to town with that and put it right on the top of my cheekbone and a little onto the apple of my cheek over my brow bone and then at the very top of my forehead and then i take a very tiny little um like eyeliner brush i think it is this says it's a concealer brush whose face is this concealing i don't really know i just put this on the very tip of my nose all right and then we're gonna go back into our eyes really quickly so i'm gonna take again the light tan shade that we used in the very beginning and i use a smudger brush smudger brushes are very compact um bristles and they're usually on the shorter side this is the morphe brush and it's when you want to pack a lot of color on a small space so i'm just going to take this and drag it under my lash line and i'm going to connect it on the outside Okay, and then I use one of my favorite brushes of all time. This is the Morphe M213. It's a very small eyeliner brush, and I'm gonna dip into the dark chocolatey brown, the tiniest amount, tap off the excess, and I'm gonna go right under my lash line just to deepen this up a tiny bit, and I'm really focusing it on the outer corner and bringing it about halfway in that's it okay i'm gonna go pop on my eyelashes and my brows and i will be right back all right guys so my brows are snatched i use the color pop brow boss pencil i just bought another one because i ran out of this a while ago and i'm in the shade dark brown it's a really nice like small precision pencil and then i set it with my essence lash and brow uh, mascara and that always seems to work for me it's just clear and i really like it and the lashes are my absolute favorite kiss number 11s these are perfect for a daytime look because they're not too aggressive but you can also wear them out on like a night out whenever we do that again they're like nice and fluffy and wispy now i'm just going to take a mascara this is just the l'oreal voluminous carbon black and i'm just going to push my natural lashes into the falsies that way they blend together a little bit better okay and this is one of my favorite parts of this entire look i've been absolutely obsessed with this lip combo so this is my rachel zoe times lorac lip pencil in the shade ginger blonde i hope this wasn't a limited edition release because if it was i need to go buy like three more of these this is one of my favorite lip pencils such a pretty color so i'm just gonna line my lips all right and then this has been the go-to color you guys i cannot stop wearing this this is the elf seriously satin lipstick in the shade nectar so freaking pretty this combo is like everything it is such a comfortable lip formula. I love it. And this was like $2, I want to say. But the colors look so good together. The liner is just a little bit darker. And then this lipstick has like a punch of color. I don't know. It's so warm. And I absolutely love it with this look. I feel like it just ties together so well. And then I always do the Fenty Beauty. Um, this is the first gloss she ever came out with, the Fenty Glow. Like if that doesn't make your lips look so friggin' juicy, I don't know what does. And that lip gloss smells heavenly, it's amazing. Okay, and then for the final step, sometimes I put brown mascara on my bottom lash line or I will use brown brow mascara. I do that all the time because the bristles are so small. Today, I'm just gonna leave it empty. You could use whatever setting spray you want. Like sometimes I do my Smashbox again. I've been doing the Wet n Wild a lot because I absolutely love this. But I did just buy this Morphe Luminous setting spray. I'm absolutely obsessed with their original one. So I figured I would give this a try. There's actually more in this bottle than there is in the mister and this says it's infused with coconut water glycerin and apple extract and it's a hydrating spray that sets your makeup and seals in moisture and gives you a glowing finish so the mist is really fine which i appreciate so we're just going to set everything with this all right you guys i'm going to show you the before and after and i'll show you it up close as well I feel so 
pretty in this makeup. I'm telling you, this has been my go-to. I can't stop doing this. I love the look of the matte eye. I love the shade of this lipstick. And again, everything else just makes me feel, it makes me feel like it's just enhancing my natural beauty. The blush is fantastic. The bronzer is incredible. So, and this foundation is like, hands down, one of my favorite foundations. So, long lasting. It's perfect from day to night. You could wear this on a date. You could wear this on a Zoom call. It doesn't really matter. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and you want to see more videos like this. And if you guys are new here, I would absolutely love it if you would consider joining the family by hitting the subscribe button down below. I have a whole makeup playlist if you want to watch more of my tutorials. And I think that's all I have for you. I hope you guys are staying happy and healthy and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.